I'm going to tell my story. And I'm going to make sure that women all over get information to be able to fight back. It's extremely difficult for me to sit here before you all today to testify against the man that I called my father and to tell you the impact that this has had on me all these years. I've struggled with accepting how the pain and humiliation has impacted me till this point. Thanks to my friend Mabel, who showed me how to fight back. Thank you. Every woman needs a friend like you. I know that there are still women out there in the deep wells of, of grief and failure and, and shock and scar. I would like you all to know that every time I allow myself to think of those gruesome acts that I had to endure countless times, I get angry. I feel helpless and, and hopeless and powerless. What a horrendous act from a father an insider. I also believe that with this ruling today, other victims out there will know that they too can get justice as I believe I will today. If only they blow the whistle, I can only imagine what would happen. The court has considered the arguments made by the attorneys and the statements made by the plaintiff in this case. D. Smith, after reviewing the evidence brought before me, the court finds you guilty of the charges filed against you. The court finds that you are a danger, though you do not see yourself as one. To the NGO, blow the whistle. I have heard of you and you have done a fantastic job all through these times. I truly hope that this will serve to send a strong message to anyone that will assault women or anyone else for that fact. D. Smith, I sentence you to 25 years in prison. That is the sentencing of this court. The court commits the defendant to the custody of the State Department of Corrections for execution of the sentence as provided by law. Information is power. Our women, they need information. They need to know that keeping quiet is what's allowing the sexual abuse to become more prevalent in societies. It's all about speaking up. Just blow the whistle. That alone. Excuse me, Mr. Smith. Chris is on line one. She says it's an emergency. All right, thank you, Sheila. Hey, Krista, is everything all right? Oh, all right, all right, I'll, I'll be right there. We gotta go. Lorna! Lorna, open the door! Don't do anything stupid! Put the knife down, Lorna! <laughs> Leave me alone! You will never understand my feelings. You're not the one suffering in this pain. <laughs> You've never been raised. I know. Just, just put the knife down. There has to be another way. No, you don't know and you'll never understand. This will never end. Just go away. <laughs> Open the door, please. I beg you. Oh, Rita, thank God you're here. 
I saw her take a knife, locked herself in the room. I just didn't know who else to call. Are there any spare keys? I think so. All right, so try looking for them and I'll talk to her, okay? okay. Uh, Florida, hey, it's me, Rita. Please, let's just talk this through. Uh, open the door and, and we'll figure something out. Just go away, you guys don't understand. This pain will never end. Just go. Please, just let me. You know I won't let you do that. Listen, you don't have to end it like this. Trust me, but if you give up, pain wins. You've gone through so much and you fought this long. Just fight a little bit longer. Please, please just open the door. We won't let anything happen to you. I would like to begin by welcoming and thanking you all for coming here today to support this fight against sexual abuse. It shows how much you value this campaign. To my friend Mabel, thank you so much for always being there. Sexual abuse is no longer a hidden evil that has plagued our society today. We have heard it happen in our homes, in our schools, and our workplaces. My joy is that we're getting ready and we're equipped to fight back. My goal of setting up this organization is to educate people, especially victims, to understand that the days of keeping quiet and dying psychologically and physically are over. The Blow the Whistle campaign was conceived to be an avenue through which victims can get cases reported, get a lawyer, and finally get justice. We are all created with a unique voice, a unique struggle, and a unique story. A struggle to recover from, not to remain in. If you are a victim or you know anyone else who has been, we're here for you. There is a table in the back for anyone who would like to join our campaign or would like to talk to us. You can provide your contact information and we will be glad to reach out to you. No longer will we allow darkness to overcome us, but we shall overcome darkness with light. I strongly believe that we can fight this menace to a standstill in our society. Thank you.